For today's Power Nation Extra, we're going to discuss thermostats. When is one needed, when is one not, and what are the benefits of a restrictor for racing applications? First things first, what is the thermostat's job? Well, it's pretty simple. When the engine is cold, it's designed to block the flow of coolant from the engine to the radiator until the coolant is up to the thermostat's temperature rating. At that point, the thermostat slowly starts to open, allowing hot coolant to enter the radiator to cool off. Most engine wear occurs when the engine is cold, so a thermostat aids in getting the engine temperature up faster to prevent cold wear. Now keep in mind, changing a thermostat out to a cooler rating is not going to make your engine run cooler. What's going to happen is the thermostat is going to be open all the time at temperature, allowing a steady rise in temperature until the engine eventually overheats. The only way to fix that is a better radiator and other cooling system components. Now we've set up a little demonstration to show you exactly how your thermostat works in your vehicle. And that includes a propane powered camping stove, a pot full of water, a gauge to measure the temperature, and a 160 degree thermostat. We'll start by lighting the burner, then putting on the pot, and then dropping in the thermostat. This is representing a warm up from a cold start. With the thermostat closed, it's allowing the coolant in the engine to heat up, not the coolant in the radiator. Once the water hits the thermostat's temp rating, it will slowly open, which will let coolant enter the radiator. After the engine is shut off and the coolant loses heat, the thermostat slowly returns to its closed position. The 187 degree thermostat does the exact same thing, just at a higher temperature. When Pat and I hook engines up on our engine dyno, we never run a thermostat in the water neck, and there's a really good reason for that. The dyno takes care of the temperature control via thermostatically controlled switch on the bottom of the cooling tank. Running a thermostat in this situation would restrict water flow and lead to inaccurate control over the temperature. And temperature control is very important when dyno testing. A restrictor like this is what's used in all out racing applications. Specific size restrictors are available to tailor to your engine's operating range and cooling system capacity. It impedes flow at a very specific rate to get the proper temperature for what your engine was designed to operate in. Anytime you suspect a faulty thermostat, you can always test it by heating it in water until it reaches operating temperature. 